Hi everyone, welcome back to today's video. I spotted this product at uh, Woolworths. It was $15. I recommended this brand from a girlfriend named Chelsea and she always suggested Nordic Blonde to be the best bleach um, for your hair. So I got onto that and found this shade L101. And usually I do L++, which is more of like a golden shade, whilst this looks a little bit more like pearly white. So L101 up to eight levels of lift is silver blonde. That is the colour and these are the results that you can get. So from brown to that goldeny cream colour shade, all the way from if you're lighter, um, my myself, and I, I'm, light, I'm like this underneath. So my hair will either fall out or will look really good. So... I'm excited to do this. I hope this doesn't turn out to be one of those video fails. And if so, I will have to tag someone to review it for me. So thanks, Brad Mondo. Let's do this. I'm going to show you guys how I mix it all up. Now, I freaking hate the packaging, especially this bo bottle developer. You guys did this to me to piss me off. So the cap actually falls into the bottle and you can't get it out. And it's the frustrating thing ever. Like, why do you do this? Why not just like put a little tube cap on? You guys are cheeked. Um, so yeah, that's that. You just tank that off, tank that off. You meant to read this. Let me read it for you. Please read the instruction leaf it carefully. Immediately after mixing the color, unscrew the tip of the application bottle. Do not reseal it because it is an explosive. It has got bleach. It's got all these peroxides and chemicals. It is a potential explosive product. Only mild, but I'm just telling you that because it's obviously like an obvious safety concern for them here is poison it says it right there it's poison do not eat or do not consume do not bother trying to do this yourself if you're just irresponsible with this process that they sell um, they want it so it's convenient and easy for the customer to use which is why they um, sell upsell the bottle you know the bottle is like the application it's so easy to put onto your roots and then blend with a brush or your hands I want to get this out right I might think about the top level of shading which is currently light so I want to remain light on there not fall out my hair so I'm going to try and apply it to the blue first the most banding and then ease it through and get it onto these roots and everywhere else it's going to be patchy it's going to be streaky I'm not going to get the best results I know that I'm already feeling the regret And I can't do the back myself, so I'm winging that. See, it's already lightened. It's already getting to that stage of just like, whimsical. And if you fancy, or you've got extra product, you can do this where you can go on the back and the sides of the, like, the hair fold. But I myself, I'm just showing that to you. I don't actually have enough product to do that, so. So I've, I've been winging it, so I'm going to estimate to leave the product on for around about 15 to 30 minutes. The suggested time to leave the mixture on for is 30 to 45 minutes um, and to leave the mixture on for 10 to 15 minutes before applying to the roots. Make sure the hair is covered evenly and all through with mixture. Um, I didn't have enough product so I haven't done the right job, but I've done what I know will work for my hair from experience, so that's just covering my ass um, insurance wise. But um, there is no insurance with hair colour, like you can't, you can't sue a company for what you do to your own hair because unless you've like had, you know, investigations and stuff done on your hair and things like that, they can't really, you can't really butcher their name or anything, you know, like it's not going to work. <laughs> so um, yeah, I've tried Vitalities and I was so repping them. I find that their colours are like more semi-permanent colours over like a permanent bleach um, removal stripping kind of product like this so um, I tried to use it for like regrowth and things but it's more of a toner for like those who want the effects of hairdresser results so like if you've got light hair and you want to go red you can use that hair dye you'll mix it like a hairdresser and it'll feel like a whole experience as your own and it's a good product like it's a great product but it's only semi I would just describe it as a semi permanent not a, not of high end like super high end like ultimate great product but I do support the brand well I'm gonna leave this on for another 10 minutes and come back to you then and show you how 
light I guess I can even leave it running but I think just to save myself storage and things that I will take this off and um, show you guys when I'm ready to take it off right so back again this is so far the color as you can clearly see it is looking bandy and um, you can see there's like this shadow there's this blue patch here there's this navy kind of gray color going on which actually looks a little bit more like a blue steel green a lot brighter I've got all my lighting on so I'm just trying to get what I can on the film um, it will need to probably be done another time and if not then I can probably get away with just going in with a semi-permanent grey and I like the ones from Adore Beauty I think it is called I'll have to make sure that that is the name of them but I've had a few hit and misses with them that brand as well um, Adore Beauty which is a semi toner for your hair Um, I do get trade price for most of my stuff, not necessarily like bleach because that is a professional quality product that needs to be used and guided with training. I myself just have access to the standard beauty makeup products, nail products, as well as like some semi-permanent products. So just anything safe that isn't, you know, track recordable if you know what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, anyway, I've washed my hair recently, so I'm not going to start stripping anything out of my hair, even with the bleach on. I'm going to make sure that this is thoroughly rinsed out of my hair in like another five minutes. And then I'm going to put a crap ton of oils like conditioner. I just need to conditioner in my hair. And I've got some sunflower oil, which I'm trying to like work into my hair care routine, which I'm going to try and like make a hair care product, which rose your hair I'm committed to like making that a thing without like chemicals or necessarily like animal product because I don't want to take animal products like keratin and like stuff like that I prefer to use like natural bio products like nuts and um, grain like anything just like better than the just like animal blood and like guts and like cruelty that you just put onto them and just like this is probably a tested product put onto a rabbit um, a rabbit because it's so it's called a rodent it simply gets put into a cage like that and they can simply gain access to it so easy and simple it's um, L'Oreal it's abuse it's simply I don't know if Shoreskoff is owned by L'Oreal but the whole industry is just full on like resulted in th this stuff so um, yeah try try do your part in life and ace your goals but don't destroy nature outside because you live in your own four four walls and you know you can simply pop your head up outside and just be like oh my world is just kind of like a bit of a like a build up you know so you're literally free you're a human being you're absolutely free to do whatever you like in life and that's how you should be and if anyone tells you otherwise or tries to discriminate the way you live or the way you want to live your life then they are abusive they're selfish and they're cruel and that's government for you unfortunately people live in these sorts of environments where they don't have any food any water any shelter any sort of support from a government and I myself yes I am an Australian citizen I was born here my mother was from the UK born in Hong Kong so there is like inheritance and cycles of family and history within your own lineage so it is the spiritual balance in what you do further and what you make of the future so you know making those simple changes guys like new packaging new bit bottle new stuff it's it's becoming a selfish pandemic and to look at it in that way is is good um it can be scary especially when someone tells you how it is um i'm not afraid to just state it like you can ask me a question through the screen and i'll probably understand you um that's why i've got twitch that's why i do this to get an energy vibe and to understand that there's some build up there, there are people there who are screaming and understanding and that is just like the instincts of the world, you know, you can't live your life in a retail phone digital way because once you're digital everyone, 
your exposure is 98% done. You are done. You've connected, you're a signal now. Anything that you post or anything you do on that cell phone is unlockable. So don't think for a second that your footage or anything that you've taken from someone is not attainable because there is a file and there's a JPEG and there's always access to your own history, whether it is through a photo, which is more private, or whether it's through media or shared posts. So government have access to your, your music, they have access to your everything. They have access to absolutely everything. There is no privacy and it's horrible. That's why some people stick to the old school ways of just a Nokia cell phone and it's a brick phone, it's not much that you could do on it um, other than just keep in contact with the, the world, you know? And I myself one day plan to buy this brand, Nokia. Um, I sponsor you guys fucking way ahead. And Apple, um, if you steal my fucking logo idea, then I'm gonna smash your fucking teeth in. Um, I've already quoted this and someone's fucking screenshotted it, that I made a fucking idea, an entrepreneur idea. I approached Andrew at fucking Apple and I said to him that I have a suggestion for a next Apple product and he was like, we'll just take this as feedback and then they will take it and use it and use it against me and say that this was theirs. So, um, dude, like I'm stating to just directly to you and to Apple that your owner would be so upset and angered and disappointed that you have taken technology and made it selfishly your own. So I understand that he invested in his money and income and savings into building a business called Apple. He made a logo out of an apple. He bit an apple and he created a logo and a moment of the world changed. It was history, it was life changing. It was the best thing in the world. Everyone screams about Apple. I've been an Apple technology supporter for so many years. I began with an iPhone 3 when I was like 13. And my family has been like between Samsung and Apple and Motorola. My uncle works for Motorola we used to get phones and stuff like we were good with technology just like payment plans and stuff like money is like an issue because there isn't much money in the world and it's time everyone to just start being reasonable with your money and not stressing about it simply get onto your government scheme get onto your government get onto your communities get speaking get what you want out of the government because I myself am not I don't consider myself an Australian citizen at the end of the day because I look at myself and I think oh wow um, I don't have a dad my mother is something else and I'm multicultural obviously like I'm not fully Australian I'm not I'm you can see by my eyes you can see by my my lips and my smile on my face and everything like that I'm part Chinese I'm like Indian part everything New Zealand like anything um, and like I know like Persia or like Persian or something I don't know it could be anything it's all about DNA and it's not just DNA it's about your history spiritual belief background and culture knowledge and everything in between so anything that you feel spiritually or inside write it down because you probably have something like in your brain that you know is there and you're not acknowledging it and it's your little alien inside there saying hello I'm just a little spaceship here I just arrived on planet earth and that's all I was here for you know that's all it is so um yeah I've just left this on for too long and I've just been blabbing um but yeah I just had to come on and say something on the internet so that is that thank you for listening to the breakdown of Amberino and um I'm gonna leave this on for a little while longer because it hasn't quite been the full 45 minutes but it has pretty much developed to its lightest stage that it's going to get with this method of application that I did so if I was to have applied it differently at different times and things things wouldn't look like this so I'm going to give it some patience and hope and I'm just gonna try to think of something I could use on top just to try and like tone it purple. I want purple. Mum's put like the purple mode in my hair, but um, that's like it, that's not that's not fucking appropriate. <laughs> All right, so it's been around about 45 minutes. I'm gonna go rinse this color off now. You can see from blue to now it's like a green yellow kind of color with a bit of random streaky blue in it. So um, product wise, I might put a bit of shampoo in it because I have a brand that I purchased from this um, supply place called Muvo. And Muvo is like a fantastic purple shampoo, 
blonde shampoo and brunette shampoo. So they do blue, they do purple, and they do clear. So if you are blonde, do clear. If you want a bit of toner, then do your purple. It is very strong. You can, you will get the gray and purple results you're after. If you, if you want a video showing you how I use it for different methods, like I put it on dry hair and I can show you guys how I use it for dry hair because that is when your hair is most porous and it will grip to that but your hair has to be at the right educational stage. So inside care, oils, your treatments, nourishment, that is what's gonna save your hair. So using a shit drying, disgusting shampoo that is only $1.99, which I actually do have one that's in my shower, um, don't use it. Invest in a good shampoo if you're gonna shampoo this product out. And I have one, I'm using L'Oreal Color, Color Vita, I think it is, and that is um, a great, shampoo so from that bright blue there to this shade of clear white is white you've achieved what we would call a decent result um won't is not perfect by any professional level standards as i didn't have enough product and i didn't utilize the little i had to you know complete everywhere However, for the process of what I did with the one packet, I've done pretty well. I'm pretty happy I can live with this. And there'll be a time later on down the track where I can, I would probably give this for sure another go. Um, I really like this product. So shouts to you guys. I'm gonna send this to you to your video um, page and you guys can watch it and share it if you'd like to. But yeah, great product. I love it. And um, highly would recommend the silver blonde one over any of the other golden shades that they have. I bought this because my usual chemist warehouse didn't stock it um, in the shade. And when I spotted it at the shops at Woolworths, I was like, oh my God, I have to like try this one. And I'm, you know, from blue to now, it's great. Really good product. So shouts to you guys. And thank you for all of you for supporting me and watching my developing channel and platforms go. I am just being myself as usual. Sometimes it's all like all over the place, but um, it's taking that little moment to maybe say thank you and to play a song and to love you all from afar because um, as they all say, we're all individuals, all human, we're just here behind a camera. Like it's so true. Like we're literally just in our four walls and the land is our own. So, um, yo, peace out, yo, and our fucking lovies, and we'll speak to you all soon. If you want to catch up and you know me, then definitely hit me up because I'm not really like sure on if anyone wants to catch up. Like, I'm looking at moving. Like, if once the borders are open, I'm like relocating to like America or Cambodia or like somewhere random, just like away, I think, or Melbourne. Like, Melbourne maybe would be like another option for like another home life for myself but Perth is um, pretty homey I, I want to see the city build up and to create my own city in Perth like Joondal up north ways um, because I've grown up this way of town my whole 23 years of my life so I haven't really I've never driven a car down south only for like two occasions and um, so I'm quite like what's the word like un, unheard of south ways but um north ways is just like my crowd of like known people and school people and things like that so yeah if um any of you guys want to catch up then shouts to you otherwise um yeah anyone on the internet catch me